it is that time. I know I'm a day late, but I picked up my comics from the comic store. Let's see the comics that I got this week. First, we've got issue three of Masquerade. This is Kevin Smith's latest series, and it seems to be going pretty good. I especially like this cover because I love pansies, and we love a good skull pansy. Honestly, this is like something I would get tattooed. Love it. Next, we have Titans United Blood Pact number three. I'm in love with these cardstock covers right now, and this series is just on point has a lot of ads but you know it is what it is next we have issue 49 of catwoman i'm especially excited for this issue because punchline is in it punchline actually has her new series which i am enjoying so i'm excited to see her in this one as well Next, we have the highly anticipated Batman One Bad Day, Mr. Freeze number one. I personally am a huge fan of these One Bad Day series. I really like these extended long stories. It's a lot thicker than your average comic book. Obviously, you know, the price point is different as well, but I'm really enjoying the One Bad Day villain stories. Next, we have I Hate Fairyland issue one. This is a new series. There was a previous series of I Hate Fairyland. I had to get the Peach Momoko cover, obviously. The art isn't something I'd normally gravitate towards. It's very cartoony, but I am willing to give it a try. Next, we have issue three of 10,000 Black Feathers, part of the Bone Orchard mythos. As uh, many of you know, I am a huge Jeff Lemire fan, and his work with Andrea Sorrentino is always great. I love the horror that they do together. Absolutely stoked on this series. Next, we have issue two of Revolvers. This is another horror comic. I cannot flip through it because it does have boobies, <laughs> but it is excellent. The art is great. The story is great. I just love horror comics. Last but certainly not least, we have Chroma. I requested this cover specifically because obviously so freaking awesome. The art in this is so cool. I'm really excited to read this. It's so colorful. I think it's like a dark fantasy, not like the sexy kind, just like the normal like fantasy. I, I think, I haven't really read too much about it. I've been trying to surprise myself. So that is that. Now on to the graphic novels that I picked up. I picked up Tales of the Kingdom. This one's been on my wish list for a while now, but after seeing my friend pick it up, I had to get a copy for myself, so I'm so excited to read this. Next, we have Batman Spawn, the classic collection. I love Batman, and I especially love Spawn, so this was a no-brainer. Last but not least, we have Miyazaki's new book. I don't know much about this, but you know, it's Miyazaki, so you can't really go wrong beautiful fucking art. Oh, I love it. And that's it for this week. Follow me for more.